Hello everybody, welcome to Grace Bear Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Crooked Stave Artisan Beer Project. Uh, these guys are out of Colorado. This is sent to me by Nate. Uh, this is Nightmare on Brett. We did the blueberry version about a month ago. This is the raspberry. Uh, the blueberry had a blue label, the raspberry has a red label. And according to the information here, uh, it's aged in Leopold Brothers whiskey barrels. So uh, we'll see what this one brings to the table. Uh, it's got the Corkton cage. It's a great big 750 milliliter bottle here. Uh, I don't, I don't know what to tell you here, guys. Uh, a lot of times these barrel aged beers with Brett, you, can, you don't even pick up on the Brett. I mean, uh, on the uh, barrel aging, the Brett overpowers everything a lot of times. Uh, Brett beers are nice. I've never brewed with them because they infect everything that the Brett yeast touches and you can't get it out unless you have dedicated equipment to, to brew stuff with Brett. Uh, I'm not taking that chance. I don't want to infect everything and I don't have the dedicated equipment to brew a beer with Brett and my CC in it because it, you cannot get it out, guys. It, it's impossible to get it out. Uh, Brett beers are nice. Uh, they have that heavy, sour, wild ale characteristics with the Brett yeast. Uh, but like I said, a lot of times it overpowers everything. It takes over. If it was a school bus, it would be in every damn seat. Not a lot of room for anything else. Let's see what this one brings to the table. I'm hoping I'm going to get some of the barrel aging from this. We shall see. If I don't, I'm going to tell you that I don't. If I do, I'm going to tell you that I do. So. Let's see, we did a Brett beer yesterday and it was overwhelming with the, the yeast. It was nice, it was enjoyable, but it was a barrel aged uh, and I did not get any kind of whiskey or whiskey notes or any kind of bourbon or any kind of whiskey notes, basically. And this one's aged too in whiskey barrels, so let's see what it brings to the table. If, it's, if I get some of those notes, I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to more probably... If I don't get some of those notes, I'm going to probably deduct points from that. Because you're going to pay more for something that's been aged in barrels, whiskey barrels, as opposed to something that's not. And if you don't get those notes, why waste your time putting in those barrels? That's where I'm getting at. And to pay $15 to $20 for a bottle of beer that you're not getting any whiskey notes from. So, hopefully this is going to have it. And I really do hope it does. This is a big 750 milliliter corked and caged. It is a 9.66% beer. Uh, big beer. Uh, enough to share, especially in a bottle of this size. So, uh, let's get on with it. Uh, I'm hoping I'm going to have a real nice, enjoyable experience. Because uh, Nate spent big money on this beer to buy it. And then spent more money on top of that to ship it to me. So, I'm hoping it's going to be a very enjoyable beer. Uh, I don't see anything else. I don't have a commercial description here other than Nightmare on Brett, uh, aged in whiskey barrels, and they're calling this a Baltic Porter. And it's not a Saison, according to Untapped. Untapped has an American Wild Ale, so a mm, little conflicting information there. Uh, this says on the back of a dark sour, dark sour ale aged in Leopold Brothers whiskey barrels with raspberries. And I don't see any kind of dating on the label or vintage. Uh, you may be able to find out more if you go to their website. Uh, other than having harvest of 2016, that's the only information as far as dating on this beer. 2016 harvest, so was it done in September, October, November, December, 
we don't know what month the harvest is. So I would like to see them put that on there. Harvest 2016, September, October, November, December. So let's see what it brings to the table. I want to go on and on about the beer. Let's find out what the beer has got going for it. So let's uh, get this uh, corky cage out of here. And a lot of times these Brett beers are a little on the overcarbonated side. So let's see what this one's about. Oh, and this one's in tight too. Ah. I can barely get that thing to move. Oh my god, that cork is in there, guys. I can't get it up. I might have to go get the pliers to get the freaking cork out of it. Ain't that something? Put a damn cap on it. Come on. I can't get it out. I cannot get it out. I don't know. I have enough strength. I don't have enough strength to get it out of the damn bottle. Ain't that something? And a lot of times you take the cork cage off of it, the damn cap, the cork wants to come out of it. I've got it to budge just a hair. It's not gonna come out, guys. I gotta get a pair of frickin' pliers. What a fucking. <laughs> if you have to use a pair of pliers to get the cork out, something wrong there, guys. It's probably gonna cost him a great point. You shouldn't have to get a pair of pliers to open up a fucking beer. If it spews all over the place, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a chapped ass. Trust me. Big pop. Great big pop. It's not gushing out of the bottle. That's a good thing. You should not have to use these to get this out. That's horse hockey. Put a cap on it. I'm going into the bottle. I'm not going to spend a whole lot more time on this. Cheese with pepper, Monterey pepper jack, sharp, uh, gorgonzola, Limburger cheeses. Last word is a flute tulip oversized wine glass. I got my favorite tulip glass here, guys. Can be sold for a long period of time. Very red and burgundy coming out of the bottle. Didn't pour very much head for that big pop. I was expecting a lot more carbonation than I'm getting. But I didn't pour it down the center because I didn't want five fingers of head like we had yesterday. Very dark and deep mahogany raspberry color. And they bridge it with raspberries. That's the reason why it's this color. So, let's get a nose on Big time raspberries. I am getting a slight hint of some whiskey barrels on this one. The bread doesn't seem to be overwhelming like it was in the, uh, the beer yesterday. This is Crooked Stave though. This is not uh, the, the beer company that we did yesterday. The uh, Man, it sucks getting old when you can't remember what you did yesterday. Uh, it'll come to me. Very nice sweetness. Very, very nice sweetness. Uh, big time raspberries. I'm really surprised that the bread of my CG is not overpowering as much as it has been from the beers we did yesterday and the day before. That was River North and somebody else. Smells good. Smells nice and sweet. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Nate. A little on the tart side. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's a lot on the tart side. It's almost like a very dry raspberry wine. Very dry. Super dry. But even still, slight hint of some whiskey barrel aging going on here. Not much. That bread this overpowers those whiskey barrels. It really does. The 
it's very tart, slightly sour, big time raspberries. If you like raspberries, you'll probably love this. But it is heavily on the dry side. I would even recommend putting a little lactose in this to give it a little bit more sweetness. It is super dry, super dry. And that, and that may be what they want. I mean, when you drink something, a beer or a wine, it's super dry. You take a drink and your mouth is still dry. Then you take another drink. And that's the whole idea. They want you to keep drinking it. Yeah, that was dry. They didn't quench my thirst. They didn't wet my whistle. Let me have another drink. A minute later, two minutes later, let me have another drink. So uh, that's the whole idea. They want you to drink more of it. But I think to balance it out, it needs a little bit more sweetness and it needs to be a little less dry. It's just me. It's just my opinion of this. I mean, uh, I don't like something super dry. It's like drinking sand in a glass. Uh, I don't want something, as soon as I take a drink and I set the glass down, I need to pick the glass back up and take another drink within five or ten seconds because my mouth is dry. little bit of woodiness there, not much. It's a slight hint of some whiskey, not much. I just, I'm just not sold on brewing a beer with bread and putting in some kind of uh, whiskey barrel, Chardonnay barrel, or whatever barrel. I think the bread just overpowers all of that. Very nice raspberry taste. Alcohol is super well hidden for 9.66. Almost a 10% beer. But I will tell you right up, it is super dry. That is probably the driest beer that I've had in quite a while. And like I said, as soon as you take a drink, you set it down. 15 seconds later, you feel like you need to take another drink because you, you haven't wet your whistle. It's just so dry. Super dry. Extra dry. Well, it's right out of the fridge. I've rambled on long enough and had to go get the pliers to get the freaking cork out of it. Let me sip on it for a while and then see where it ends up. See if I can get a little bit more of that uh, barrel aging, whiskey barrel aging that they've done on this beer. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Tasty beer. It is a very tasty beer. Super dry. Extra dry. Ultimate, ultimate dry. Uh, and that's probably what they want. They probably want you to set, just take a drink, set it down. 10 seconds, 15 seconds later, you want to take another drink because it's so dry. It leaves a very dry taste in your mouth. Raspberries are there. The bread on this beer is not overpowering. It's very well done. Uh, alcohol super well hidden for a 9.66 for almost a 10%. Very tasty. The only plus I got, shouldn't have to have a damn power plier to get the damn cork out. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, guys. Uh, I did find this very tasty. Uh, it is super tart though. It is a mouth pucker. But the raspberries are outstanding in this beer. If you like raspberries, you'll probably like this. Very slight hint of the whiskey barrels in there. Not overpowering whatsoever. If it, didn't, if it wasn't written on the label that it would have been aged in whiskey barrels, I probably couldn't, I couldn't detect it. It's, uh, it's that. The bread overpowers all that stuff usually. That's what I have found in my experience of, of doing some kind of barrel aged uh, bread beer. Uh, the bread usually overpowers all that. But the raspberries are there. They, they, they're, they're there. So, bread, yeast, wild, sour, Heart, raspberries, there, most definitely there. Uh, other than that, not getting a whole lot of anything else. Uh, it is super dry. I, that's what stands out more to me as dry as this beer is. It's like an extra dry wine. Uh, it is so dry, you want to take another drink 10 seconds after you set the glass down. So and that's probably what they want. That's what they want you to do. So. Uh, Guys, to me, I do think uh, it's a very tasty beer, very well-made beer. Like I said, the alcohol is super well hidden. This could probably sneak up on you if you were going to try to drink all this by yourself. 
Final cut. I am getting some woody notes from the barrels, but not a lot of whiskey. The bread is just overpowering that. Super dry, very tasty, well-made beer, a chore to get the cork out. So, uh, I'm going to give this beer A-. minus. Uh, scale for me is a 92. That's where I'm going to put this. Let's run over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate has it at 96, world class. Great numbers from those guys. And uh, Untapped has it at 4.34. Solid A numbers from those guys over there, just like Beer Advocate. So I'm probably giving it a little less, but I was kind of I was kind of uh, chapped about having to get a pair of pliers to get the damn cork out of it. So if you say, oh my God, it's a 10 beer, it's a 9 beer, I wouldn't argue with that. This is a very well-made beer. Crooked Save usually does some really tasty stuff. This is their Nightmare on Brett with raspberries. We've done the, brew, the blueberry version about a month ago or so. Uh, very nice beer. Very tasty beer. So if you've had this particular version, uh, let me know what you think, guys. Come on back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge.